Prplivnul do očí, David se otočí, prkem zatočí, když začíná to, tak tu máš velký velký já měl kuráž a jakej byl kuchli jas! Our friend Mirka here was a typical Czech girl of the high school age, interested in doing what she could to strengthen that safety pin. In her high school, one like thousands of others in democratic Czechoslovakia, the Sudeten Germans were an important topic of discussion. On this day, Mirka's teacher asked her to read a composition about Mirka's work was characteristic of a sincere effort that was made throughout Czechoslovakia at this time. Her story, which she now tells us, is of her journeys out to the German-speaking areas of the North and West on missions of friendship to the children of German anti-fascists, many of whom had already suffered from Nazi aggression. toward the Sudetenland, with presents from Czech children to German children in the Solidarity Organization. They cross the historic Charles Bridge over the River Moldau. Past the Cathedral of St. Nicholas. And climb the Castle Hill. Take the road to Karlsbad and Eger, also called by their historic Czech names, Karlovivari and Hev. in the German-speaking area about seven miles from the German frontier, Mirka reaches her destination and greets her Sudeten friends in a celebration of solidarity. The presents from Prague are welcome here. Things have not gone too well lately with these children of German Democrats. Of the German-speaking citizens in the Czechoslovak Republic, almost one-third were trades union members Social Democrats, Liberals, Jews, Catholics, and other anti-Nazis, always at the mercy of the Henlein Hitler young men. of Sudetenland children and had a long tradition in Bohemia, where wood carving was an old folk art. A 
a great deal of the spirit of Czechoslovakia at this time, of the people, always in the majority, whose only wish was to be left in peace. Throughout the rich fields of Bohemia, part of which the Nazis have rebaptized to Dadenland, these peasants pursue the work of ages together. Theirs is a soil that has yielded abundantly throughout many centuries. In the Czechoslovak government's public works for the relief of industrial unemployment, Czech and German-speaking citizens of the Sudeten areas work side by side. The same was true of the traditional Bohemian industries, the making of musical instruments, toys and glass. The glass blowing trade was an ancient one among the Bohemian Germans, or Sudeten Germans, as they had now begun to be called. Many Czechs had entered the work in modern times and had joined their fellow workers in the Sudeten trades unions. Economic depression had hit Bohemia as well as the rest of the world. The Slovak government, like other governments, had at first been slow to appreciate its gravity. Herr Hitler, disregarding the widespread misery and hunger in Germany, blamed the whole depression in Bohemia on the Benish government. But often, as in the case of this factory near Heinrichgrün, the industry was German-owned. The owner lived in Vienna, safe under the swastika and closed down this factory because the world markets would no longer give him a satisfactory profit. The workers, German and Czech, thus thrown out of their jobs, were forced into the crude and dangerous wildcat mining that was still practiced in the district. In these critical times, the Nazi propaganda and terror machine was 